Hey friends, Logo Mills here with Dream Guitars, and we have yet another fantastic cabaret crossover model from John Buscarino. Uh, this guitar comes to us from 2017, so at time of recording it's had about six years to wake up, and it certainly has in those intervening years, which I'm happy to report. And yeah, uh, we sold heaps of these guitars over the years, um, John's built a ton of them for us and our clients, and they're always great. This one is, of course, no exception. Um, it's a crossover instrument that kind of combines some jazz box and arch top features, including this arched back, which we'll get to, and of course cutaway and things like that. Um, this one, does it have a radius fingerboard? It does, a very slightly radius fingerboard. So as a crossover instrument, it has a couple of creature comforts that make it much more easy to pick up and play um, than a uh, you know, traditional dyed in the wool nylon string classical guitar. Um, and these are all good things in my book. Um, you know, why not make it easier to get into, right? So this is the kind of instrument that you're gonna be comfortable doing some classical repertoire on, but frankly, it works for a lot of stuff. Um, you know, you can do some jazz stuff, you can do a wide range of, you know, um, modern finger style kind of things. Um, you can do some chat on this too, you know? Um, it's a different attack, I guess, with a thumb pick, but you can definitely still pull off some uh, some check kind of finger picking plunking stuff on this guy as well. So yeah, anyways, let's get into a little bit. Hopping on top, Engelman Spruce, always a fun one, um, with, I'm pretty sure these are Koa bindings, if memory serves. So this guitar also has a Barbera pickup in it, so you can amplify this creature. Um, it's a 12 hole tie block, which is very clean, and also just looks clean, frankly. Yeah, and again, we have that cutaway here, and a very slightly radius fingerboard. So coming around to the side, um, Get that cutaway again, and then you can see this very light colored set of Hunter and Mahogany. And we'll go all the way around to the back so you can see that Hondo in its, all of its glory. Now, um, what you might be able to hopefully tell in the video here is that this is an arched back. So it's a carved, arched, you know, domed back, which adds some volume to the air cavity without making the sides super deep. Um, so you just have a little more air to work with, you know, you can have a slightly more complex voice. Um, and also it just looks cool and feels nice, you know, like against your torso. So yeah, <laughs> pretty cool stuff. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip over here to um, one other creature comfort is this guitar has a lot of side dots. So you can always left hand orienteer very easily with this guy. As we come up the neck, uh, of course it is a 12 fret body join um, for this guy, but the neck profile itself feels pretty modern. So it's not that flattened U shape you find on, you know, uh, traditional classical. This is much more of a, a rounded kind of a C shape, um, which feels very good in hand. And I don't remember the nut width off the top of my head, but if memory serves, it's a little bit slender, more slender, um, whichever that is, um, than you would again find on a traditional classical. So this is going to feel, you know, more familiar, more comfortable to uh, a steel string player, um, someone who's used to a slightly tighter string spacing. Yeah. So if you want to get into one of those guitars that designed to do a lot of things well, and it happens to do 
a lot of things well. Uh, <laughs> this 2017 Cabaret crossover from John Buscarino is something to consider. Give us a shout if you want to learn more. Cheers.